Okay, so I know I've been doing a lot of videos about lighting lately, but that's because lighting is so important. Probably more important than that new camera you've been looking at. And you know what? A hell of a lot cheaper. So I wanted to share with you, kind of following up on my last video about my Luxly lights, I wanted to share with you my two new favorite little lights. And by new, I do mean new because these are new to me lights. Uh, b &H had sent me these lights to test out. They've been really good to me over the years, so I really appreciate it. If you are in the market for some camera gear, use my links down in the description for b &H. Uh, Let them know I sent you over there to buy whatever it is you're gonna buy. Maybe these lights, maybe a new camera, whatever it is you're looking for. I'd really appreciate it. That helps me out, that helps them out. It just helps everybody out. So go ahead and use those links and let's get into this video talking about my new favorite little lights. So these new lights are also made by Luxly. I, I, I think I have a little bit of a, a new crush on the Lux, these Luxly lights and they're also made in Norway. Like what? What's the last thing you bought that was made in Norway? They know how to make stuff and these are good lights. So let's start off with the Luxly Fiddle, which is a really cool light. It's a small pocket sized battery powered light with all of the features of the bigger Luxly lights. Now, if you've seen my video about the larger Luxly lights, I'll link that up there. Uh, that was the Tyco and the Tiffany. Uh, they are jam packed full of features and I think they're fabulous lights for the price point. I mean, you get so many features, you get built in gels, you get, you know, built in effects, you get color temperature ranges and these smaller lights, they don't, they don't hold back on any of these features. So let's take a look at the fiddle, which I have right back here. And this is, like I said, just a pocket sized light. And right now I have it on a color chase. So what it's doing is over time, it's I've set it to shift throughout the color spectrum over about 60 minutes. So it's shifting from red to green to blue. I actually don't know the order of the colors, but uh, right now we're on a yellowish orangish. So that's pretty cool. The other great thing I like about this light is it's got a little LED um, screen on the back that actually is smart enough to know it's gonna flip whichever way you're looking at this light. Solid aluminum frame on this thing. You've got quarter 20s built into here, quarter 20 built into there, plenty of mounting options. And this thing, dude, this thing is $200 on B&H. Seriously, $200 and you get all sorts of gels, all sorts of effects. So, well, right now it's telling me that I'm using the color chase from the app, effects from app. So it actually tells you that you've set this up from the app, I just learned that. I did not know it did that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set this back. Set that up the exact same way on a Zoom meeting last night, three hours at 50% power, I used about 20% battery. So that battery is gonna last quite a while. It's a cool light. The other cool thing about that light is if you need to diffuse it a little bit, you can get a little magnetic diffuser. Let me show you how that works. Boom, right on there. Get a little bit of a light diffusion going on there. If I just swap that, swap that right over to the white light. Uh, so you can actually switch through some of the effects right here uh, to get to the actual effects like the paparazzi or lightning TV, anything like that. You've got to run through the app, but you can do a lot of the gels and everything straight through here. Change your brightness, change your colors. Still got the 150 gels on here. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Swap right back over to the white light. So if you need to like add a little kicker light up here. You did not tell me you had to let them go. I thought we had them on all the charges. Kind of a cool little light and throw it anywhere. It's nice and small, get a little diffusion. I think it's like 250 with a diffusion and a bag. Still an awesome light with amazing features for that price. Connects straight to the app. Still got Bluetooth in it. Fiddle, looks at fiddle right there. Play. There you go, there's my app. If I wanted to change that starting color, let's put that more on green. Boom, right there. Okay, so let's move on. That's the fiddle. The fiddle is pretty awesome. The fiddle is awesome. I wanna add another F word in there, but I try to keep this channel pretty clean. So 
Just use your imagination to fill that in. Okay, so the second light that I want to show you, tell you about, brave about, I feel like I'm just one of those crazy sales pitches you see on late night TV. I assure you that's not what this is. It kind of feels like it, but that's not what this is. So second one, here's the box. Looks a little bit bigger. The light is actually a lot smaller than this box. The cello, the Luxly cello. Same thing with that light. It's not built in battery powered, but it does run off the Sony in P style batteries. I mean, pretty much everything in the video world runs off of those at some point. So I'm sure you have some laying around. If not, the kit itself comes with one. And let me, let me show you that. I've actually got that one right here. My side light right here. So it's a little bit bigger. Let me take it off the stand. And like I said, Sony NP style battery. Just got it running off of one of those. Again, had this running for three hours last night on a Zoom call. No problem, no problem. That was at about 60%. Again, if you wanna get a diffuser, you can get this guy, it's a little bit bigger. It's a nice little fit, pretty easy to put on, pretty easy to take off. Let's see, let's turn this up. There, another nice soft light. Let's turn this light off. Let's turn my main light off here and see. If you wanted to use that as a main light, I mean, it's not gonna be the best, the most softest light you've ever seen. Uh, let's do 50%, that's about 50%. So if you had a couple of these, you could probably actually recreate some pretty nice soft light. Um, and at, how much are these? How much are these? These were, let me see, over here with my light. Uh, with a diffuser, this is $300, not bad. So you can get three of these for a little under $1,000 and you could have pretty nice light. I mean, boom, one right there. Also gives a nice little room light. Boo, look at that, look at that. Okay, anyway, so these lights, I'm gonna put this back over here. So these lights, the Luxly cello and the fiddle, I mean, come on. You're basically getting for a couple hundred dollars, you're getting a light, 150 different gels. You're getting, you know, a dozen or so different effects that you can do with this. You can actually get into the app and preset effects and play those on these lights to kind of create your own custom range of effects. I mean, does that even make sense? But trust me, when you open the app and when you play with these lights, you're really, really gonna fully understand what you can do with these. These are incredible lights, especially for the price point. You should go get some. You should just order some. I mean, you're not gonna regret it. It's a couple hundred bucks. Awesome, awesome lights. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have for you today. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps you out. I know I didn't dive too in detail for, about these lights, but uh, I do dive a lot more in detail on the Luxly and the Tyco. And these are honestly, like they just, they function exactly the same. The form factor and the size are just a little bit smaller. Uh, so if you wanna get a little bit more detail on some of the Luxly lights and how they operate and how the app works and all that, Go ahead and check out the video I've linked down below in the description about the Tyco and the Timpani, two by one, one by one, the nice big lights they have. Love those two. These, I mean, just seriously, these lights are incredible. I always enjoy using these lights on set. So I'll tell you what guys, if you like this video, if you find it useful, helpful, informative, anything like that, hit that thumbs up button down there, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, and I will see you guys next time.